Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Free Exchange of Ideas. Uh, it is t- Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Um, and it's raining. If it ain't raining, we ain't training. Uh, I don't have a whole lot this morning, just pretty much because of the rain. It's pretty much settled everything in and everybody's hunkered down. The uh, Where I live... There's a lot of, well, in California, there's a lot of road closures due to either flooding or uh, roads falling away uh, or mudslides, rock slides. There's a couple of places where there's, you know, boulders the size of a RAV4 just sitting in the middle of the roadway. And there's a few places where the roadway has, because it's on a mountainside, has, you know, broken apart and fallen down the hillside of ways. So, uh, it, where I live, we lost power a couple of times. Lost power last, well, this morning. I don't know about last night, uh, but this morning, uh, just before my alarm went off, I hear this click, chick, and then my phone lights up, looks right at me. So that uh, told me the power was off, and it was five minutes before my alarm. So I just got out of bed, did my thing. So uh, this is supposed to roll on for another couple of days through the weekend anyway off and on uh looks like it's going to get a little bit lighter late saturday i think but we'll still have a little bit on sunday i believe um again we california the state of california has done nothing to help our dams survive this kind of deluge or a way to store some of this deluge and uh, have water for the rest of the year. Um, I saw that Shasta was up to 64% uh, filled, which is awesome because before this all happened, uh, so in September, October, November, um, it was down to like 35%, which is dribbles. You know, it's like nothing. You could practically see the, the peak of the... Um, church that's underwater there in the lake so uh and and others are actually quite high we've got a couple of of, uh small reservoirs that are um uh, pushing water or allowing water to go over their edge and uh, down their creek beds so uh, i think the i i apologize i can't remember the name of them because i didn't write them down but uh there's a a uh, reservoir up here that's uh, at 120 percent capacity and so it's just you know flowing water over the edge down down river um, but at least that one's full uh, most of the uh, reservoirs in, that are in my immediate area are um, at capacity which is not to say that they are full they're at capacity because uh, Anderson Dam, which is one of the biggest in uh, the South Santa Clara County, uh, the dam is not completed yet. They've been on this project for, I want to say, like eight or nine years now, maybe seven. Um, but it's not completed, so they can't fill the, the reservoir. It just has to spill over. Um, another reservoir in... Uh, Lower Santa Clara County, out of San Benito County, um, che- uh, not Chesbro, sorry, uh, Coyote is uh, in the same uh, at or at the same level of uh, dereliction of the dam. Uh, thankfully, it's a smaller uh, reservoir, and uh, I don't think they even cut into the dam to replace it yet. The problem with that dam is that it's an earthen dam and they have a uh, suction tube or a tube. I don't know if it's a suction tube. They have a tube in the in the uh, reservoir near the uh, dam that shunts water underneath the dam. Well, the dam took some damage in 1985. Was that 85? Loma Prieta earthquake? 85, 86, something like that. And uh, been like that ever since. Oh, yeah, we can't do anything about it. You know, it's, it's going to fail, so we can't fill it. So that's what they did. They stopped trying to fill the thing. They um, cut off. They, they drained it, in essence. And then they just allow it to continue to drain. So this rain is going downriver. 
uh, to Anderson, I believe, which means it's going to continue to go downriver because Anderson can't hold very much more. So uh, I'm I'm displeased with my state, obviously, uh, the uh, the individuals that are in power uh, just don't see a need, which I do not understand. Governor Newsom spent a boatload of money on new planes to help uh, mitigate wildfires. They didn't. It's not because they're not good at what they do. It's just that wildfires in California tend to run wild and are hard to control and hard to contain, um, especially if they are started in the middle of the forest. You know, we got spotters out there uh, from forestry, but, you know, nonetheless, it still takes a little bit of time to get enough smoke up that they see at a distance that's probably a fire, and then they have to send somebody out there to check it out, and then they call fire. So, uh, we have a lot of burnt ground. Now, some of these fires that we had in the last two, three years uh, literally burnt the ground so hot that it burned everything underneath the dirt. So, there's no roots for grass or trees or anything else that's left out there. And so, that just turns into mud when the rains come. Now, this is a cyclic thing in California. We know the seasons and we know about when things are going to start happening. Meteorologists even see these rains from way out. I mean, when we started talking about this, they were talking about a week to two weeks out, a series of rainstorms. So they can make those judgments pretty quickly and we can get an idea of what we're going to get. This year is a little heavier than the average obviously, because we've been able to save some of that water. But uh, I don't know how much more water we're going to get. And February and beginning of March are usually the wettest when we get this kind of rain. So it can get ugly here pretty quickly. Uh, Thankfully, my home is on kind of the high spot in the area that we're in. And uh, we are on the north side of town where the south side of town is uh, underwater from flooding from the creek that runs right through there. Uh, So I'm not sure what we're going to get out of this. I'm a little afraid for once that I, I don't know that we're all going to make it out okay. I think my family and I are uh, because of where we're situated, which way the water flows, so far, we haven't flooded the house, which is a plus. But uh, all that being said, uh, I think this is kind of a rehash of a show a couple of days ago or last week. I apologize. But it's, it, it, it just irks me so much that they've made no effort in Congress, state Congress, to protect us. Because that's what this is. With no dams, we can't hold water in the reservoirs. Uh, And so, you know, they haven't done their job to protect us. No, they want to focus on this other reservoir that they want to build and kill this little town that's there and then ship water from the Sacramento River to it, which doesn't make any sense. No water flows into that valley. Uh, It would take forever to flood it with with water from the river. And even then, it's just a holding tank now. It's not... It's not an actual reservoir. So anyway, I think that's all I've really got for you folks. If I think of something, I will put out another show today. So we'll see what happens. Thanks very much. I really do appreciate you coming back and checking in with us. Live long, fight hard, win the day. See ya!